We are recording a video. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, how are you? And welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Jacob Andrew Sharp. And today, well, gang, it's, it's a doozy of a video. Every one of my videos, it's going to be a doozy. There's probably one that's not. And there's nuggets in here. Every one of my videos, there's a guarantee for a lifetime supply of nuggets. And that's why you gotta subscribe. I have to do that at the beginning of every one of these. Isn't that crazy? I started doing it and now I gotta do it forever. Idiot. Today, well, we're gonna have a silly billy time. I'm in a silly billy mood and we're gonna have a silly billy time. I'll, I, you know, I'll admit it, sometimes I can be too much of a silly billy. I try to make a silly billy video with some silly billy jokes and usually it goes great. But sometimes there's a negative Nelly who watches the video. Sometimes we get a sour grape in the comment section and they let me have it. They leave me a paragraph or two. The nuggets are gonna be negative Nelly flavored. And today we're gonna be taking a look at my favorite negative comments that I've gotten on my past few videos. Because if you think that you can walk in here and leave me a paragraph about how you didn't care for the video, and then you think I'm not going to talk about it, well, guess what? I'm a petty bitch. I even made a tier list. Not only are we gonna look at the comments, we're gonna rank them. So let's dive in to me being a petty little bitch. And yeah, I'm a little self-conscious. That's why I'm making a video about things people say about me on the internet. I'm a commentary YouTuber and I'm dead inside. My tier list is called the Negative Nancy Tier List. It's pretty simple, pretty easy going. I put it in the crypto and NFTs section of the tier list maker. Y you know, you're the type of person who goes, I didn't like that, and I'm gonna let them know. I'm sure you're also the type of person who would love to like mansplain crypto and NFTs. Now, most of the negative comments I get are probably from like, I don't have to stop interrupting women. Well. You should. Because the type of guys to leave a negative comment on a YouTube video are most likely the type of guys to interrupt women and have a Celtic knot tattoo without being Irish. Nothing says I didn't like the video like having a lion in your tattoo sleeve. Cool. So tier number one, this is the D tier. This is like your low level tier. This tier is called, I'd like to speak to the manager. Now, I, I didn't make this to be like, this is for the Karens or anything like that. I think anyone can have this kind of, I'd like to speak to the manager attitude. This tier is for like the piece of shit white person who thinks that being asked to wear a mask is like their oppression. And if you're gonna go onto a video and press the dislike button and leave like an angry comment or review, strap on your new balances and your stupid flock of seagulls haircut because you're a stupid white person. Like you're the type of person who would go to a fast food restaurant and when your meal was a little bit wrong, you have no problem yelling at the 15 year old behind the cash register. It's a McChicken, get over it. The C tier is called, everything's gay now and I don't get it. This is a little bit of a level above the people who ask for the manager. Like they're the type of people who would say like, back in my day or back in the good old days. Also this tier is mostly for people who just leave comments about how I'm a guy who paints his fingernails. This guy's making fun of man, even though he's got painted fingernails. Uh, yeah, good luck, idiot. Okay, back to my incel group chat. They look amazing. Sorry, your fingernails look like a chewed up piece of paper. Use some moisturizer, you little freak. The B tier is called Mom, Get Out of My Room. This is for the younger audience who leave comments on videos. The type of kid who got an iPad way too early and has no problem calling his mom a bitch. Mom, why don't you get out of my fucking room, you fucking bitch? Oh my God, Zayden, you are so funny. All right, I'm gonna leave you and your little friends to your little- I said get out! Whoa. The A tier is called Kyle's, Ryan's, and Tyler's. Oh my. It's the type of person to get kicked out of a Twitch chat for saying a slur and then like smashing their keyboard because stuff is way too PC these days. <laughs> I feel like they're similar to tier B, except instead of like hating their mom, they like love their mom like way too much. Like almost Norman Bates style. Just punching a hole in the wall to deal with their Oedipus complex. All right, and then we have the S tier. This is your God tier. These are like the comments that I I'm always in shock that people have the energy to like write this stuff out and to actually post it like it matters. And the S tier is called, you can't say anything these days. Now this is like the D tier, but on steroids. These people hate the new generation. These people are your pissed off Facebook uncles. These are the type of people that think that a Yelp review will change the world. They're the type of people who leave 
full paragraphs because they haven't been comfortable on planet Earth in like 60 years. They're the type of people to go on like a tropical vacation and then when you get there, they're like, it's pretty hot out. Yeah, Judy, that's why we're here. I've also picked out a selection of icons to represent each each comment. I can't wait to stay up all night editing this. I think this comment was either on, I think it's either from the video I did with my dad where we made fun of vaccine conspiracies or it might be from my male Karen's video. So the comment is, LOL, and Biden got 80 million votes. Jeez. What a crock of shit this channel is. Well, I love the people who are like, who put sarcasm in their comments. The government wants me to get a vaccine. Next, you're gonna tell me that I'm gonna need a seatbelt to drive a car. Uh, yeah, right. And next you're gonna tell me that I smell and I need to take a bath. Yeah, okay, buddy. What's his profile? It's a wolf putting on the sheepskin, I think, to, to be seen as a sheep but really he's a wolf. Don't be a fucking sheep. That's a response to probably me making fun of Trump supporters. The icon I chose for this comment is a picture of Joe Biden smiling. That's him smiling because he got 80 million votes. This one gives me a lot of mom get out of my room energy. So <laughs> I don't know what video is this from, but it just says boo. <laughs> this is from willful altruist. Dude, names for fucking accounts, dude. Like, hmm, I could go with my regular name or maybe I'll go with Willful Altruist. Yeah. So for this one, I chose a ghost as the icon. We're gonna put this into the D tier. This is, I'd like to speak to the manager. Nothing really original, just saying. <laughs> And that's fine. So this is from Jeans World. Pair of jeans that doesn't think I'm very funny. This dude talks too much and it ain't even funny. This emoji and eyes up emoji. Let's just go to his profile picture. Oh, three middle-aged dudes. No shit. <laughs> Oh, bald like me, but you got a goatee. These guys all for sure have like balls on the back of their truck. You know, when you put balls on the back of your truck because uh, there's no balls under your dick. Bruh. Hey guys. Bass Pro Shop is not a personality. I chose a photo of Gene Wilder, who played the original Willy Wonka. This is also D tier. I'd like to speak to the manager. It's probably safe to say that this guy is mad all the time because he's gone through like six divorces and now he's married to his Ford F-150. This is either from the Elevator Boys video or... No, I think it's from the Elevator Boys video. This is from Annie 2002. So I think it, they're born in 2002. So we got a young in here. We got a young. Why do people post videos talking bad about others for like 20 minutes straight? I don't get it. Worry about your own life. Now, this is a comment I clapped back on. Yeah, I never understand why people comment on those videos. Worry about your own life. Now, I, I'm not here to say that I'm better than any of these people because I'm still the person who's making a video about it. Then I post it on Twitter to get like, I don't know, reassurance that I'm doing okay. All of us talk shit constantly. No one wants to be around the type of person who's like, I'm fine in every situation. I think everybody's right and nobody's wrong. I'm neutral in every situation. Ah! The icon for this comment is uh, a picture of the game of life because I need to start worrying about about my own life like that hasn't already been a lot for me uh, worry about your own cancer this is giving me mom get out of my room so this is from yarrow i don't know man parts of this video seemed like you were simply bullying this man just unnecessary go ahead and delete this one champ dude this is where like saying champ or pal is supposed to be like an insult i like being an idiot in this situation and being like "Ooh, i'm a champion Ooh, thank you this is from the liver king video and i was straight up bullying liver king but that's because i'm just a little delta cuck i can't do anything for myself so i have to bully people. For this one, the icon I picked was the bully from Like Mike, who was played by Jesse Plemons. Sometimes bullying will get you an Oscar nomination. So maybe next year you'll see me, uh, you'll see me accepting award for best Liver King video. Probably not. It'll go to Danny because you got to go check out Danny's video for Liver King. He has two and they're both bangers. I'm going to say that's, that's, I'd like to speak to the manager. This is from Michael Dam. Damn, Michael, back at it again with the long comment. Dude, you've done it. Fuck, like, wh <laughs> why is every comment so sarcastic? Just say what you're gonna say. Don't be like, yeah, I really liked this video. Dude, you've done it.
This was the exact same thing as watching a female comedian. There is zero jokes. I think you mean to say there are zero jokes, not there is. Dumbass. There is zero jokes, zero buildups, zero punchlines. And that's not a complete sentence. That's just a list with a period. After watching it a second and third time, got the views, fuck you. I come to the same conclusion every time. I could not, if my life depended on it, tell you how the video starts. It's so much a nothing that it deletes as it plays. Very fascinating, horrible shit show. I think he proved that he has no grasp of proper grammar or the English language. The fact that he watched my video three times, watches it a third time and he's like, I can't fucking remember the beginning. Uh, this is the same as watching a female comedian. Shut the fuck up, women are funny. Don't say a gender isn't funny when you're proving that a gender can't construct a sentence. You fucking idiot. The, I chose a picture of Ben Shapiro. I feel like Ben Shapiro is the type of guy who doesn't think women are funny. This is giving me Kyle's, Ryan's, and Tyler's, oh my. Oh yes, okay, this is a great comment. This is also from the Liver King video? Yes, oh my God, yes, I fucking love this comment. Okay, so this is a two-parter. This is our first two-parter. So this guy was obviously upset uh, about some of the jokes I was making, and he didn't find me very funny. And that's okay. Most people don't find me funny. But that's nothing a few fart sounds can't fix. <laughs> On a critical note, keep it up. Maybe in a few years, you'll figure out how to tell a joke or have an insightful thought that would be a benefit to share. I'm being harsh, but this video was like 5% good material, 95% is word association a joke? And similar crap. Raise the bar. Before he commented uh, this constructive criticism, he commented a joke that he thought should have probably been in the video. Putting back, <laughs> all right. Putting back in what the modern world left out, I think is what he meant to say. Cow organ supplements. Get your cow brain supplements, only $58 a month. Cow pancreas, $42 a month. Cow testicles, $83 a month. The way our ancestors did it. Good joke, Seinfeld. That's fucking funny, dude. Um, I didn't like this video. And actually, if you guys want to check out my comment down below, I think that's pretty funny. So like and subscribe to my comment. Not that great of a joke, man. Um, cow testicles. Oh, brother, <laughs> this guy stinks! So for this one, I had an icon of a comedian bombing and getting uh, tomatoes thrown at them because I'm not as funny as cow testicles, whoops. I think, no, I think this is gonna go into everything is gay and I don't get it. I feel like this guy probably would have yelled at me in high school for wearing like tight pants. Oh yeah, we're getting into the cancer ones. Yes, okay. So this one is from uh, is actually from one of my first videos I ever posted. And I made a little intro about how like, oh, is that the guy with brain cancer again? Kind of making fun of something that I just went through. Wow, ever seen someone use cancer as a flex? Why even mention it, dude? Never even seen you or heard of you at all. I don't know who lied to you. Lots of people beat cancer, lots don't. We are all just meat sacks full of poop emoji. Sounds like you're the one who needs to get over it, sugar nuts. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Every time I read this comment, wow. I didn't think I was using it to flex. Sorry to flex on you guys with my rare brain cancer. I'm so sorry. That's very cringe of me. Why would you bring like some like nihilism and some like existentialism into this? We're all just meat sacks floating on a rock. We're all just full of poop emoji. You're all gonna die one day. Uh, get over it. Tell that to everyone hooked up to chemo. Shut the fuck up. Sugar nuts. I can tell ya. They don't taste sweet. More on the salty side of things. You know what I mean, guys? This video is a disaster. Uh, maybe I do need to get over it. Nah, I'm gonna keep talking about it forever. Get over it. This one, I picked uh, the screenshot of me from a video I did with Curtis making fun of Sebastian Balls, and it's my classic line. I can feel my cancer getting worse. <laughs> no, no. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ow. It doesn't line up with what I named it, but I think this is top tier. I think this is you can't say anything these days. These were on Instagram. I had something that was posted on a random like content account. It's just people saying the meanest stuff. And Pontiac Maniac said, why does this dude have nail polish? 
First off, Pontiac Maniac. Weird car to be a maniac about. I mean, this isn't really a negative comment, just kind of being like, why does he paint his nails? That's all right, maybe you've never seen that before. I think we can put that one in everything is gay and I don't get it. There's three comments that really hit me for my nails. So I picked three photos where I thought my nails look really good. So my plain black nails, everything is gay and I don't get it. This is from John Steele 36. This summer, John Steele turns 36. All right, now what kind of man paints his fingernails? Yeah, the type of man who wishes he had a name like Steele. Move over, Henry Cavill. Man of Steel, how about John of Steel? For this one, we'll do my, uh, my tiger nails. Okay, what did Bill say? Dudes wearing nail polish is just wrong. Oh, Bill! Bill, 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 Bill! Bill, 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 Bill. Yeah, hey, Bill, tell your wife to move over. There's a new Jacob in town. All these men are like, stop painting your nails. It's making me horny. Bill Wine, the homophobe guy. Bill, Bill, Bill. So we have one more comment. I've talked about this comment before. It was sent to me by someone who follows me. It's a text conversation between them and their like extremely Catholic mother. I had basically posted uh, this photo of me lying down with my little butt out, and I thought it was pretty silly. But here I go being a silly Billy, and I turn another person into a negative Nelly. There's, I'm, I don't have the full conversation here, so there's a little out of context. Earlier, her, their, their mom was like, "What? Are, why are you so anti-Catholic, blah, 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 blah. And then the mom says, okay, so why are you promoting anti-God causes and perverted people? How can you be Catholic and promote these ungodly things? Then they they say, I'm not promoting ungodly things. And who are you talking about? The guy with brain cancer? I don't understand. Did you look at his first pic of him lying on the floor naked? Gay progressive who has brain cancer. Whoa. I know I've talked about this before, but what a crazy fucking comment. Just straight up claiming that I have cancer because I am pro-gay. If you're gonna leave a paragraph like that, and if you're gonna like condemn your kids for watching stuff, be a better parent. I mean, I am pretty ungodly. I'm pretty fucking rock and roll. This is top tier, cause sorry to all the gay progressives out there, but you got it. You got a little tumor in there and it's uh, it's gay. But when people say stuff about you online, I know everyone's like, you just got to ignore the negative stuff. Fuck ignoring that. Clap back, who gives a shit? Listen to Thumper. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Make a YouTube video about it and clap back. Cause you're a petty bitch. That's the extended version of Thumper's line in Bambi. Whew, wow. Great video so far, Jacob. I just wanted to take a quick break to hear a word from today's sponsor, Albert. In a stressful world of confusing contracts, hidden fees, and NFTs, what the heck are those? It's important to feel confident and secure. And that is all possible thanks to the Albert banking app. Guys, I'm no crypto wizard and I'm no finance mogul. And I'll be honest, Banking stresses me out, but that has been a thing of the past ever since I started using Albert. Did you guys know that most banks have no problem charging you up to $35 in overdraft fees? Also, their mobile apps are so slow and their customer support services are so outdated. I can't count how many times I've been on the phone for hours just to make a simple change to my account. But Albert is different from any other banking app that you've used. Instead of just opening a traditional savings account and hoping to remember to put money into it, Albert takes a look at your income and your expenses and sees what you can save right then and there. Then they automatically move money into your savings account, sometimes as small as a few dollars at a time. It's like magic. You'll be surprised at how much money you can save in just a few months. And you can get up to $250 when you need it. Let's say you're in a bit of a cash crunch. You watch one of my videos, you get your nuggets, but you decide, hmm, I'm still hungry. And you decide to go to the store to get some more nuggets, but then you realize you don't have enough cash. Just go to your Albert app and they've got you covered. Albert has a team of financial experts that they call geniuses. They can look at your financial situation, help you make a plan, and they'll answer any questions along the way. And since we live in a world where you can't trust every guy named Al, at least you can trust one thing named Albert, because Albert is here to make banking easier for you. So click the link in the description or go to albert.com slash nuggets to download the Albert app today. That's albert.com slash nuggets. And for a limited time only, when you open a checkings account and connect a qualified direct deposit, you get $150. $150. Think about how many nuggets that can buy. That'd be like 
a lot. And guys, by supporting Albert, you help support the channel and you help support videos by Jacob Andrew Sharp. And we love supporting friends on this channel. Friends like your good buddy, Al. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Albert. And thank you for the nuggets. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel because subscribing to my videos guarantees you a lifetime supply of nuggets, okay? You can also go check out my podcast, the Mr. Friendship Podcast, and I started another new podcast about being sick with one of my best pals, Jake Doolittle. So go check that out too. Um, you can get check out Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. As you say, go check out my merch. Go check out my merch. I just put out merch. Okay, bye. I want to be clear. I'm super lucky when it comes to comments. Most of my comments aren't that bad. If you always leave a, a thanks for the nuggets or thanks uh, or I love your videos, you're the absolute best. You're my friend.